What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Jacob Pick Management, here with the great one, Soccer Q Ash VIP, also known as Ash, with another show of betting the pitch. We are on a hell of a run. Uh, it's been about a week since our last episode because of the holidays, but we have been smashing left and right. Hope you've been following along on our Twitter accounts, Pick Management, and Soccer Q Ash VIP. There is no other hotter soccer podcast out there. Uh, so right here on the Sports Betting Insiders YouTube channel, you'll be able to find us all the time. And make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to be entered to win an exclusive my exclusive pair of Jordan Zion 2s. Uh, we're going to be giving away, if you can help us reach 1,000 subscribers on the Sports Betting Insiders YouTube channel by January 2nd, you'll be entered to win uh, those exclusive Jordans. Uh, they are my babies when it comes to sneakers. But if you can get us to a thousand, they'll be yours. So uh, yeah, Ash, how was your holiday? Uh, how have you been? And what do you have for the people for your best bets for this uh, weekend soccer slate? So my my holiday was great. Um, it was just a bunch of lazy downtime and relaxing, which is exactly the way I wanted it. Um, yeah, so so doing well, just in, enjoying betting. You and I are doing well together, so looking to keep that going. And as far as what I have today, um, it's really a mixed bag. So I'm like, I have six plays for you guys. We have some doubles, some singles, some goal scorers. We're laying just a little juice and a lot of plus money like I love. So we will just jump straight into it. Um, yeah, the first play, yeah, let, let's just, that's what the people are here for, right? So my first play, um, this is actually going to be like a, a prop play. So we're not taking a winner. We're not taking a sides or anything like that. We are taking a side. So I'm going to go to England Premier League. And this is going to be on Saturday, December 30th. This is going to be Nottingham Forest. And they're taking on Man United. Um a, a putrid struggling man United, which actually helps with our stats here. So we are going to take Nottingham forest to have over 12 and a half shot attempts. Does not matter if a single one of those um, is on target or not, just as long as they get um, 13 shots, no matter how, how good or bad they are. And that's at minus 118. Uh, Man United, they're on the road here. They give up the second most shot attempts in the Premier League um, when they're on the road. And um, Nottingham Forest, too. So I, I like this before their last match, but I, I think that Nottingham Forest um, come into this with confidence for a couple of reasons. They're coming off of um, a come from behind win versus Newcastle. But, you know, even if it weren't, a come from behind win. I mean, just to beat Newcastle is, is a big deal for Nottingham Forest. And um, yeah, I think they'll try to take advantage of what is so obviously a, a struggling Man United side right now. So just need 13 shots out of them. And like I said, that's minus 118. Uh, my next play. So this is going to be one place on Friday, one place on uh, Saturday. We're going to go to Portugal for the first part of this double, and we're going to take uh, Porto's team total over one and a half goals. They are playing um, Chavez, and that's too pricey by itself. So then we're going to take a play on Saturday. We're going to go to the Scotland Championship League, and we're going to take Falkirk, Moneyline versus Sterling. So that's just Falkirk to win and uh, Porto to score at least two goals. Minus 138, uh, which is a sort of, you know, medium to high end of juice for me. But um, like you always say, I'm going to use this slide first. Sometimes the juice is what? Worth the squeeze. But Ash, no, 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 hold on, okay. time out. Rewind, you got to do it with the whole thing yourself. You got to hit it. You got to hit it hard. You got to do it. Uh, okay. All right, so... The, the juice is minus 138, but sometimes it doesn't matter because the juice is worth a squeeze. Oh, so good. Love to hear it. Woo. I thought you were supposed to hit it with me, though. No, no, no. Yeah. If, if you ever get it out, it's yours. You got to do it. Okay. I'm gonna, I'll I'm make gonna, sure I'll make sure Jonathan Coachman sees this clip, too. So I'm going <laughs> to fucking I'm gonna scream it next time. Oh, Yo, you better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So that wraps up uh, our double. This next one is um, one that I actually posted several days ago. It's lost just a teeny bit of value. This is a system play, actually, that I've already released to clients. We are going to take, well, we're going to go to Italy, first of all. Italy, Serie A, one of my favorite leagues to bet. We are going to the Lazio versus Frosinone match, and we are going to take Frosinone and draw no bet. 
Uh, we took that at plus 275. It's at plus 265 now. I still love that price. Um, you know, you want to sprinkle the money line. Wouldn't blame you there. Um, Frozen Nona is newly promoted side, and I've just been really impressed with them. They, they can score versus the bigger sides. Lazio, uh, do they have a better all-around roster? Yes, but I, I love this as a system play, but not only that, just as, as an eye test. I'm, I, I'm not impressed with this Lazio side. To me, Chiro Mobley needs to hang up his boots. Um, you know, they just really – he kind of only scores from penalties. So I think that Frozen Nona will go into Lazio mm -hmm. – and uh, view it as a winnable match. And, and I think the worst it does um, is push. So, yeah, we'll take the chance that they just don't lose at a plus 265. This next one's going to be another double because you guys know how say, I love my double. I got to say, Ash, that is a scary play that I am on the other side of. Uh, I'm not going to make it official, but, you know, sometimes I got to speak up here. Because uh, you know what you know what happened last time you spoke up? It was on the that Celtic or something, and you and you jinxed me. I so know. now, <laughs> now you go ahead, speak up. You, you're so messing. My, my, my only concern about the Lazio game. So Lazio have won four of the last six uh, Serie A matches at home, but Frozenoni on the road have lost six in a row, mm -hmm. um, and uh, they have also scored less than four goals in six of their eight road games. And in seven of Lazio's eight home games. So I think, if anything, it's going to be a low scoring draw, which gets you a push, or maybe like a 1 0 Lazio victory. So that is my only concern here. Uh, you have great points. I love it. But uh, for my side of things, uh, that is that is only my concern with the play, uh, which yeah. is why I do have a small play on Lazio. But uh, I'm not going to make it official. Uh, yeah. but I do like I do like to draw no bet. If I was gonna if I was gonna take it, I would take it because Frozenoni has been uh, a bit of a giant killer at times this year, uh, right. and they're bound to win on the road at some point. So just wanted to chime in with a little bit. Right, and I agree with everything you said. This is kind of like a look at. Um, I, I like to take some swings at, at underdogs, but you know, getting that big price and taking the draw no bet versus them winning outright still gives us that, that push protection. And well, yeah, that's could. why you hit all these, all these big plus money plays. So you can afford to lose one because you smash all the rest. So, <laughs> right. And the thing is like, you know, with Lazio, like I said, yeah, they, they do have the superior roster. So would I be shocked if they won this in a low scoring type match? No, but that's why you're getting the plus 265, right? Um, a lot of people are scared to swing at plus money. I look for value spots to, those are my, my favorite ones to swing at. So, yeah, would it be a surprise, um, like I said, for, for, for your side to hit? Uh, but, but I think it, at these odds, it, it's definitely value. Because like you said, giant killer, right? It's, Lazio is not – they don't have a fantastic record this season, but they're still a big name in Serie A uh, for this first Sinone side. So it would be a big, huge deal um, for them to beat them. Now that you've messed, given me like bad juju and I'm going to lose that one, let's move on to uh, my next double here. So this is going to be, um, both of these are going to be in England, but two different leagues, okay? So we are going to the England Championship League first for the first part of this double. And we're going to take Ipswich Moneyline and they are playing uh, QPR and that one's actually tomorrow. So that's on the 29th. Then you got to wait a day. So it's kind of quirky, but I still like these two plays together. Then we go to the 31st and we go to the England Premier League and we are going to take Tottenham versus Burnmouth over two goals. I We get this at minus 130. Um, I do like over two and a half in Tottenham, but it doesn't matter. You know, we, sometimes we're just going to lay a little bit of juice. I give tons of plus money plays. So at minus 130, I feel safe that, that, that we get at least two goals here. And if we don't get any more, then we push that leg. So, you know, I, I love push protection because I'm a coward like that. So, right, Ipswich money line, Tottenham ditto. burn with two goals. <laughs> I got to say ditto on uh, the push protection. Uh, I got to have it. I'm okay being scary. <laughs> right, yeah, because I had a double today where I had over two in both the Arsenal match and the Tottenham match, right? And Tottenham went over easily. And, uh, yeah, but if you'd have taken two and a half of that Arsenal match, you'd been screwed. So, yeah, I, I'll lay the minus 130 there. And we are going to go – this one's also on Friday. This is going to be a same game um, parlay. We're going to Portugal and going back to the same play that we have. So we had Porto's team total over one and a half versus Chavez. 
in a double. And this one, we're going to take Porter's team total over one and a half again, but we are going to combine that with Taremi, uh, their top goal scorer. We're going to combine that with him to score, and that gets us to a nice plus 127. You shop around, you can probably actually get that um, at even better uh, plus odds, but I, I would take it at evens. So yeah, as long as you're getting evens to plus money, I love that play. Uh, I, I think Porto, there's a chance they score more, uh, more than two goals. So yeah, I love looking for spots where I see the team scoring multiple goals. He's also happens to be their, uh, the person who typically takes their pins, which is always a bonus when you're going for a goal score. Right. And they're at home. So the chance of them being gifted a pin, there's tons of cards that go flying in Portugal. So I wouldn't be surprised to see him actually get um, a cheap penalty or something. And then my last play for you guys is another uh, goal scorer. This is going to kind of tie into one of Jacob's plays also, which made so that made me happy to know that he's on this team's uh, team total in some capacity. So we are going to England League Two. I actually enjoy betting these lower England leagues more than I do the Premier League. So we are going to take Macaulay Langstaff to score anytime. Plus 110 is the best uh, price that I've found. That may change closer to, to kickoff. This one's actually tomorrow as well. This is Knotts County versus Morecambe. Uh, Macaulay Langstaff plays for Knotts County, and um, I actually have a future on him to be the top scorer in League Two for the season. I think he's like one off the pace. He keeps kind of going up and down. So, uh, yeah, I, I think he's going to be battling it out. And yet again, I, they're at home. I like them to score multiple goals. And, yeah, him, you know, they're promoted to this new league, and it would be a big deal for him to be the, um, the top goal scorer in League Two. So I think he will go all out in every match they have remaining here. What um, was the name again? To get on the score. Macaulay Langstaff. Macaulay, okay. Yeah, yeah. And plus 110, yeah. So there's another plus money one then, and we will shoot it over to Jacob because at least we agree on that one, even though he gave me bad juju on one of my other Hey, ones. what was the second half of that Porto parlay, the Parto over two, and the second one that you gave out to play just before Macaulay? Oh, so yeah, Porto team to level one and a half, and then Medi to Remy to score. All right, awesome. So, uh, Ash's best bets for the weekend slate are going to be Nottingham over 12 and a half shots versus Man U. That is just shot attempts. She's also on Portugal team total over one and a half plus Falkirk money line. She's also on Frozenoni, draw no bet, plus 265. She's on Ipswich Money Line, plus Tottenham Bournemouth, over two. She's on uh, Porto, over one and a half team total goals. And Medi Termini? Termini. Termini, over, uh, I mean, uh, anytime goal scorer. Uh, and Macaulay Langstaff, anytime goal scorer as her last play. So some really great selections, a lot of plus money hits. Uh, I got a feeling we are going to be in the green for this week, uh, smashing these plays out of the park like we usually do. Uh, you know, yeah. this is uh, one of the most profitable shows out there, and I am not just saying that. If you guys really take a look at what's happening in the sports betting world, uh, we're low-key like the best out there. <laughs> so hopefully uh, we're going to catch on and people will see more of this. Uh, because those were some excellent plays from Ash. Uh, and I'm going to dig into my best bets for the week. We are going to start tomorrow in Serie A. I am all over Napoli, uh, uh, minus 150, and their team total over one and a half. Um, I get it that Monza has uh, been okay on the road as of late. Uh, they've de avoided defeat in four out of their last six games on the road. Uh, but Napoli is just a monster uh, they are looking to continue their run towards the top. Uh, they're currently in seventh, so they need to get a move on if they want um, you know, some better aspirations come playoff time. Uh, and this Monza team is sitting in 11th, uh, losers of three out of their last five, one, one, drawn one. Um, but they've only won two games on the road so far this year, um, and they haven't really played uh, the best competition. Uh, they did lose. Uh, 2-0 to Inter Milan, 3-0 to uh, At Atlanta. Um, so I kind of put this Napoli team in that same category uh, as to what they can do to worse teams. 
I get that uh, Napoli's home record kind of sucks. Uh, they also have lost three out of their last five, winning one and drawing one. Uh, but they've played some pretty solid teams. Um, they've dealt with some issues, um, you know, like injury issues and whatnot. So uh, I think here we get a good price. Um, and I think that Napoli is going to take home a win uh, at home off the break. Um, I think that they can uh, control this game and uh, shut down this Monza team. Uh, moving on, I am also going to take Inter Milan minus 155 and their team total over one and a half. Those are two separate plays. So I'm on the money line and I'm on the team total over one and a half. Uh, it's another situation of just a good team against a bad team. Inter Milan currently sitting in first. Uh, winners of four out of the last five. Uh, they drew the fifth one, 1-1 one, one versus Juventus. Uh, and Genoa is sitting in 13th. Have only won one out of their last five games uh, at home. Um, they have a pretty solid record. They've only lost two home games uh, in their last five. They've gone two, one, and two, uh, but they haven't played great competition. Uh, they draw. They did, had a draw against Juventus, a draw against Empoli. They beat Hellas Verona one uh, nothing and Salernitana one nothing. Uh, so it's not like they're taking down, uh, you know, like some huge money makers or anything. Uh, and then they drew 2-2 against Napoli, which was pretty solid. Uh, but this Inter Milan team is just a different animal, uh, and I think they are going to continue to win, have not lost a road game yet this year, and have only scored less than one and a half goals in two games so far this year out of the eight, yeah, I think eight away games that they've played. Uh, they've hit that over team total uh, in uh, six out of the eight of them. So, I am all over those two uh, plays for the Inter Milan game. Uh, moving on to England Championship. Uh, Ipswich minus one and their team total over one and a half. Listen, I've been hitting this Ipswich team all season long, uh, and they have just been producing. Uh, they had like a bit of a rough patch for just like a couple of games uh, with some draws, but if you were betting goals, uh, you were okay. This is the second place team in championship versus the 22nd place team in the championship. Uh, and I think Ipswich, who has scored over one and a half team, uh, team total goals in all but one home game, uh, is easily going to hit that. I know it's minus 175. It's juicy. Uh, but, you know, don't be afraid of the juice. Uh, you don't pay it if you win. And uh, I think this is going to cash pretty easily. QPR. Losers of three out of the last five. Uh, the only the last win was against Hall on the road. Um, they've just been bad. I mean, just giving up goals uh, and losing to bad teams, good teams, uh, the whole nine. So I think Ipswich minus one is a pretty solid play here. Uh, we could get that at uh, minus one thirty eight. So it's not so not so steep. And then uh, the team total is at like one seventy. Also on well, Leicester City minus 155 uh, in team total over one and a half. Uh, really, same exact explanation as this uh, Ipswich play. Uh, Leicester City uh, has been uh, playing some pretty great soccer lately. Uh, sorry if I can find the game. Yeah, they have. I'm, I've actually been um, riding that team lately. So yeah, I absolutely. Think when I when I looked today it was. Um, yeah, I think their team total over one and a half was like minus one twenty, uh, which is yeah, I, I think really really great odds. Yeah, against Cardiff City, form. I mean, yeah, it's minus one twenty two. Uh, yeah, uh, Leicester City playing this Cardiff team. Cardiff is currently sitting in eleventh. Uh, they're two two and one, uh, but in their last uh, five home games, uh, they've lost one, drawn one. I mean, I'm sorry, they won one, drawn one, and lost three out of their last five home games. Uh, to start the season, they did have a little run at home, uh, but they were playing shit teams. Uh, Swansea, Coventry, Rotherham, uh, just not the best teams. Those are their home wins. Uh, and taking on this Leicester City team, uh, who is uh, currently sitting in a uh, tie for uh, first place, uh, winners of four out of their last five. Uh, they drew the other one, uh, and they've only lost one road game all year. Um, they are... Uh, Three, six, uh, two, four, six, eight, nine. Uh, they are nine, one, and two on the road so far this year, and have not, uh, and have only scored 
over one and a half team total goals in four of those. So they are uh, scoring goals in the uh, on the road, um, you know, left and right. Uh, they've scored over one and a half goals in four out of their last five games. Uh, so really, same explanation as this Ipswich one. Uh, both two really good teams uh, playing uh, pretty bad teams, and I think it's hopefully going to be a pretty solid win for both of them, uh, and we cash all four of those plays. Uh, moving on, some more English plays for you guys. I am on Rotherham for Sunderland. Both teams to score, yes. Uh, let me just pull that up. Uh, that's another championship play. Uh, both of these teams just like to score goals. Uh, uh, sorry. Um, Rotherham at home uh, has scored in uh, most of their home games. I'm sorry, I got this right here. Uh, uh, Rotherham scored, uh, both teams have scored, yes, in 14 out of their 24. Sunderland, 11 out of their 24. Uh, but those numbers go up on the road. Sunderland currently in sixth place. Uh, they've given up goals in uh, two, four, five, in uh, five out of the last seven games on the road. They've given up goals. Uh, and even even though Rotherham uh, losers of four out of the last five and have not scored many goals, uh, they've been shut out uh, shut out twice in that in that time period. Um, and they are pretty solid at home. Uh, you know they scored in. Uh, Three, four, five, six, in like nine of their home games, um, something like that. Uh, I don't want to kill you guys waiting around for the right number. Uh, but, yeah, I do like them to score. I think both of these teams get on board here. Uh, and then lastly, for uh, England, I am on Knott's County over one-and-a-half team total goals. Uh, it's another situation of a really good team uh, who likes to put up goals playing uh, not the best team. They're playing uh, Morecambe? Morecambe? More Morecambe. Morecambe? Morecambe? Yeah. All right. Not County versus Morecambe. That's why I got Ash here. She's the smart one. She knows all the good, all the pronunciations. Uh, so Knott's County versus Morecambe. Uh, I get it. Uh, Knott's County, uh, two and three over their last five. Uh, but at home, they've only lost three home games all year and have put up over one and a half team total goals in each one of those wins. So if they win, you can expect them to score two or more goals. And uh, Morecambe. Uh, does give up a lot of goals, even in draws and losses. Uh, we've seen them give up that number in uh, three out of their last five games. Uh, if you keep going back farther than that, they've been giving it up in losses too. So I think this Knott's County team, uh, who is looking for wins to get towards the top of the table, currently sitting in fifth place, will do all that they can to take down Morecambe here. And uh, not just, you know, I kind of like them on a win. I just didn't like the price. Um, not County, jeez. You know, this look. Uh, sorry, guys. I, I, I just didn't like the price on Knott's County. Um, so that's why I'm just sticking with the uh, team total here. Um, moving on, I am going to be on at Atlanta. On a... Uh, the 30th, that's going to be Saturday. Uh, at Atlanta, uh, I am going to take them minus one, and that's going to be for minus 138. And I'm going to take their team total over one and a half at 157. Um, I think at Atlanta has just been doing damage recently. Uh, they know what it takes to win. Uh, they're not playing the greatest team uh, in uh, Le Leche. East. God, I am the worst. Uh, but uh, Atlanta versus Leeds, Leche, whatever it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> God, it's, it's, it's Leche. It is you Leche. got it right. Yeah, yeah I thought so. Okay. And they would have sound, sound completely stupid, but I thought it was Leche. Um, but yeah, Atlanta at home. Uh, they have lost a couple of home games, but it was to Napoli and Inter Milan. Uh, two teams we bet on to beat other teams. So just think, keep in mind for those other two matches, they've also beat Atlanta. Both teams beat them 2 1. Uh, but other than that, Atlanta dominant at home, putting them up over one and a half team total goals in all of their wins. Um, so against Lecce, who is currently sitting in 12th place, uh, has only won one of their last five, has not won on the road yet, uh, but has given up team total goals over one and a half in quite a few of their games. Uh, I may be taking a peek here at the both teams to score yes in this game. 
I'm either going to do that or throw this into a uh, alt line parlay at over two. Uh, I'm not sure yet, so make sure to check the Twitter at Pick Management for uh, a couple of extra bonus plays as we get closer to kickoff. Because uh, the both teams to score yes here is at plus one ten. Uh, because it's totally possible for Atalanta to, sh- to shut out this Lecce team, uh, but I do think two goals will be scored. So uh, keep an eye on the social if you want some more plays. And then uh, lastly, uh, um, actually no, actually I got a couple more. I'm going to be on Braga minus one sixty five in Portugal. Um, and just another situation when it comes to like leagues like Portugal. There really are only a couple of good teams, and you can really count on them to come through uh, in in most of their games, especially recently. Playing Casa Pia, Atletico, uh, Braga, is, is this is a team Braga has owned. Braga currently sitting in fourth place, winners of four out of their last five. Uh, only lost one road game so far this year. Otherwise, they are 5-1-1 one, and one on the road, uh, and are just a really dominant team. Uh, Casa Pia Atletico uh, are two and three in the last five, uh, but they've only won one home game uh, versus Porto Monese. Uh, that's a 1 0 victory. Uh, otherwise, they've lost three and drawn two. Uh, and I think they are in all sorts of trouble playing in this Braga team who is trying to get to the top of the table, um, which I think they can. Uh, it's a really solid team. Uh, they score a lot of goals. Uh, and they take it to they take it to their opponents, and in a league that um, like Portugal, uh, where there are very few you know really dominant teams, uh, when it's a good team playing a bad team, uh, they let you know. Uh, and then my last two plays are going to be in the English National League on Saturday. I am all over Bromley minus one, and their team total over one and a half. They are playing Ebb's Fleet United. Let's pull the game up. Uh, Bromley versus Ebbs Fleet United. The second place Bromley team playing 22nd Ebbs Fleet. Uh, Bromley are winners of four out of their last five. Uh, just drawing one. Uh, so no losses in their last five. Uh, they've lost two home games, their first one, and then won a couple games ago. Otherwise, uh, they've won like nine home games or nine, two and two. At home so far this year, uh, and, and in their victories, they have scored over one and a half goals uh, in all but three of them. So they are six and three to the over one and a half team total when playing at home. Uh, and I think this is pretty straightforward. Minus one is at minus one ten. Their team total is uh, juicy at minus one eighty five. It'll even out. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, but I think we see some goals here too. Uh, and I am all over. Uh, probably minus one and their team total. So that is what I have for today. Uh, I'll run through the plays again real quick for both of us. Uh, Ash is on Nottingham over 12 and a half shot attempts versus Man U. Portugal team total over one and a half and Falkirk money line. That's a parlay. She's on Frozenoni, draw no bet plus 265. Ipswich money line per uh, plus Tottenham and Bournemouth over two. That's a parlay. She's on. Uh, uh, Porto over two and uh, Termini anytime goal scorer. Uh, that's also a double. And then she is on uh, McCully Langstaff anytime goal scorer. I am on Napoli minus 150 and their team total over one and a half. I'm on Inter Milan minus 155 and over one and a half team total goals. I'm on Ipswich minus one and I'm on their team total over one and a half goals. I'm on Leicester City, minus 155, and over on their team total goals. I'm on Rotherham, uh, Rotherham versus Sunderland, both teams to score, yes, minus 115. I'm on Knotts County, team total, over 1.5. I'm on Atlanta minus 1, and their team total, over 1.5. I'm on Braga, minus 165. And finally, I am on Bromley, minus 1, and their team total, over 1.5 goals. That's going to be versus Ebbs Fleet United. Uh, so, Ash, let the people know where they can find you. You can find me here um, a lot more frequently coming up soon. We're going to have, you know, be, be doing multiple shows a week, finally, thankfully. Uh, as far as social media, yeah, pretty much um, Twitter. And I'm just going to keep calling it that uh, forever. So, yeah, you can find me on Twitter at um, Soccer Q Ash VIP. Uh, give out free plays on there sometimes. So, yeah. 
that's that's pretty much it. And we're going to get her on the Sports Betting Insiders Discord channel, which all you guys can join totally free. Uh, you can get free plays from our followers. we got some really sharp guys in there. Uh, and she'll have her own channel uh, when she makes her Discord to jump in there. So uh, I'm Jacob at Pick Management on Twitter and TikTok. Pick Management Betting uh, on YouTube. This is Betting the Pitch on the Sports Betting Insiders YouTube channel. And don't forget, if you subscribe to the channel or are a new subscriber and you help us reach 1,000 subs by January 2nd, 2024, you could win a exclusive pair of collectible Zion Williamson Jordan 2s, the Neon Edition. Uh, they are super hot. They are like my favorite sneakers on planet Earth. And I'm going to give away my pair of them to uh, one lucky sub. We can hit that thousand subscriber mark by New Year's. So tell your friends, tell your family, hit that subscribe, hit that like, hit that share. This is Betting the Pitch, and we will see you later. See you later.